So, uh, tell me, Tyler, when did you first start seeing him? You think I'm crazy too, don't you? No, Tyler, certainly. I don't want to jump to conclusions, and crazy is a very negative term. People use it far too hastily. What are you writing? You're m you're making me nervous. I'm just taking some notes, Tyler. Sometimes these things can have a, a genetic factor, and without clear notes. Genetic. <laughs> it took the other doctors at least two weeks before they started comparing me to her. Tyler, it's something we have to consider. Uh, I'm new to your case. I have to explore all the avenues. Lori is your daughter. Yes. Did you two attend high school together? I didn't attend high school. I survived it. Interesting. Can we talk about that? It was hard enough having to go through it with assholes like your born-again Christian daughter. So I'll pass on the whole reliving it part just so that you can feel that you understand me better. I think we've derailed from the subject a bit. So... This man... Why... Well, Assume he's a man. Is, is he in the room right now with us? All right, Tyler, the, the, the notepad's down. I can't help you if you don't give me the information I need. I can't understand what you're going through if you don't tell me. You can regain control here. But by enlightening me, you're allowing me to help you. No, no, please, just let me help you. Where's Lori? I thought she said she was meeting us down here. She's getting a ring size. <laughs> a ring? When did Kevin pop the question? This is the best part. It's a purity ring. Wow. Uh, Lori is not even a virgin, okay? So, a purity ring? <laughs> what a hypocrite. <laughs> you haven't even heard the best part yet. She's now a born-again virgin. Oh, okay. what is that? A born-again virgin. Okay, yeah, and so are we. Hey. Okay. Damn it, Alan. Try to play like all the Raymond noodles in your country on the line. You suck, man. I thought beating you guys was gonna be a little harder. You and Yao Ming over here should have at least put up a fight. I got your win right here, okay? Guess what I learned in French class today. What'd you learn? Good class, huh? I guess you learned something. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, can we go and talk for a second? No, I'm in the middle of a game right now. How about talk tonight? Okay. All right. Going out with the girls. Okay. What I miss? <laughs> Just that Lori promised her badge to God. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Oh yeah, Lori started going to church all of a sudden, and now she's a reborn virgin. And she has the purity ring to prove it. <laughs> oh God. Here comes that creepy kid, Tyler. Where? He's so no. weird. It just freaks me out the way he always talks to himself. Oh, what a freak. Hey, Tyler! Who are you talking to? Hey, where do you think you're going? Not kidding, huh? Don't walk away from hey, your buddy. Oh, well, don't walk away from your house. <laughs> if it isn't Looney Tooney, Tyler Rooney. <laughs> well, you're talking to yourself again. Oh. Please just leave me alone. Please. Mm. Yeah.
can't. I can't even hear you. I, I, Tyler, I, I said, Ted, I I please. I just love to hear him beg you guys. <laughs> I mean, that natural. stutter it cracks me up every time. It's How about no, 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 no. Please, please leave no. me alone. Please, <laughs> yeah, please, please, come on. Please yeah. No, no. <laughs> No! Come on! No! Come on. No! Like, no. Please! No! Please! 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 please. please. Alright guys, that's enough. Leave him alone. Come on. Come on. He's had enough. Baby. There's nothing to do with you. Why don't you just go? Please. Leave me alone. It's kind of hot. I'm gonna cool him off. Hey, let's see if shit can float. Let's mm. find out. <laughs> no, no! Summer, please! Summer, please! Summer, please! Summer, please! No! 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 Start you out in a low dose. So let me guess. Haldol. You're familiar with antipsychotics. Your, your father doesn't say anything about you having been on them. I wasn't. Well, Tyler, you know, due to your increased anxiety and your, your frequent hallucinations, I just think this is the best course of action for you. Write whatever the fuck you want. I'm not going to take it. Okay, so we're out there on the green, right? And I am like sweating because, you know, I got my putter out and I am absolutely terrified to take this shot because I got 600 bucks riding on this thing. Well, anyway, I widen my stance. Me and the ball, I'm in the zone. You can always tell when Duff Dale is in the zone. There has not been a breeze for hours, so I just pulled back my putter, hit the ball, it's rolling, rolling, rolling. Heart is kind of in my mouth because it stopped short of the hole by like millimeters. Oh my God, no. Yeah, it's sitting on the edge of the hole, and then wouldn't you know it, yes. A breeze <laughs> out of nowhere drops it right in the freaking hole. I nearly threw my putter into the pot. I am tired of getting kicked out of country clubs because you cannot maintain your temper. I don't know what it is. You've always loved this game, ever since you were a boy. It's a metaphor for life. You have your pawns, your minions, your blue-collar minimum wage earners. They don't hold any real power. Mostly they just become these mindless protectors. And then you have your knights. They fight for you. They're able to maneuver the field in an unusual way that the others can't. And then you have your rook. He has calculated movements. These are your scientists and your engineers. And then you have your bishop. These are your clergymen. They are just as powerful as the rook, but they move in an opposing way. And the queen, the crazy mother, <clears throat> or the scorned lover, the crazy, unpredictable female, la femme fatale. Oh, we, you know. <laughs> and the king? He is the reason for the game. He has the most amount of power, but the least amount of action. The king, the king is you. No, I'm a rook or a pawn or whatever the hell you said cops fall under. No, 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 Uncle Andy. The king, he's not you. He's me. He's everyone. Tyler, you think too much. How did I get such a weird-ass kid? Hey. I'm a normal guy, right? Certainly, certainly. You're, I gave him milk when he was a child. Right. And I had nothing to do with it. Uh, whatever. Yeah, Bye, anyway. stand around. <laughs> Burgers are done, dudes! Well, oh, perfect timing. That's a tofu burger. I got tofu burger. Whatever. I mean, God, really it's disgusting. disgusting. Freaking vegetarian. Good 
afternoon, my little minions. So we're going to be lecturing today on chapter 13, schizophrenia. Shall we begin? To the average you and or I, they just, they just seem like they're out of their minds. Ooh. Right over the cuckoo's nest. What's really happening though is a complicated chemical process is taking effect in the brain. What the hell, man? I don't know what you're talking about. Give me back my notes. Shut up. Just give them back. Shut up. Give them back. Hey, how about you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Real mature. Wake up. Asshole. Focus. Now, what is going on in the human brain when this episode occurs? What causes these delusions and or hallucinations? If you will. Mr. Grant, you may proceed. And an excessive dopamine in the brain? He's exactly right, folks. There is something else going on, too. Who can tell me what other chemical excess has been linked to these delusions within the schizophrenic mind? One chef's Norman B -b -b Bates. He's delusional all the time. <laughs> I tell you what, Mr. Funny Guy, why don't you enlighten all of us with that single definitive response for which I request? Serotonin, jackass. Those of you in the class that did not hear Mr. Tyler's response, the answer is serotonin, jackass. Please keep this in mind for it will be on your exam next Friday, along with your extra credit report on schizophrenia. Yes. Looks like my girl. Do you know what it's like to get head from a hot little bitch like that? No, I, I don't think you do. Screw you, Scott. Why would I do that? You know, when I could just go home and I could screw her. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably have her face down, ass up, before you even walk your sorry ass home tonight. And I can guarantee you that she will not be thinking of you. You see, Tyler? Shut up. to humiliate me again? No, okay? No, I don't want to humiliate you. I have spent my entire high school career trying to keep you from being humiliated. Since the day we met, it's like you've had a goddamn target on your back. Do you remember the first day of freshman year? You mouthed off to that Matt kid in gym class, and then after school, he got his buddies, and they beat the shit out of you in the parking lot. Do you remember that? Who stopped them? It was me, okay? So don't act like I'm the problem. You're, you're, right. You're not the problem. I always wondered why a girl as perfect as you would ever hang out with someone as fucked up 
as me, but for some reason, which I cannot understand, you d did. Thank you. Thank you for that. You know, that one fucking night, I haven't been the same since. I can't stop thinking about you. You're in my head 24-7. It never should have happened. You act like that night was magical. And it wasn't, it, Tyler, it wasn't. It was weird. It, it, Look at this. You can't do this, Tyler. That's embarrassing. No wonder he picks on you. You set yourself up for it. Tyler, I finally have friends who don't see things. Do you know what that's like? I thought maybe it was gonna get better. That maybe you would stop seeing these invisible people that weren't there. But it never happens. You know, I thought this girl, I thought this girl was beautiful in every way. Tyler. But you are nothing close to her. Protect me, my ass. All you do is cause me fucking problems. Sleep well? Yeah, well, you're probably just excited to be going up to Redmond. What time's Andy picking you up? This last afternoon. Well, you guys have a good time. Yeah, it's gonna be a fucking thrill, Dad. You know, maybe you should think about coming with us sometime to go see her. Okay, watch your language, all right? You know I cannot stand going to see her in that place. You're the one that put her in that place to begin with. Okay, Tyler, don't anyway. start with me this morning, okay? Here. Go see a movie or whatever it is kids do these days. Don't spend it all on those freaky little dolls, all right? You're not a little girl. Stop buying that aromatic crap that you burn in your bedroom. My God, the whole house smells when you burn that shit. Yeah, whatever. Say hi to your mom for me. But seriously, why? I like to wear makeup. I'm talented, I'm attractive. No, why acting? All right, when I was five, my parents put me in ballet. My teacher thought I wouldn't last two weeks, but I was determined to prove her wrong. So I practiced every day for hours, and the teacher thought I was doing so well that she decided not only to put me in the recital, but that I should be front and center. I thought we were talking about acting. <laughs> was I done with the story? Dress rehearsal comes and goes like clockwork, and the next day the recital comes, the music starts to play, the other girls start to move, and I look up and I see the audience in front of me. And I thought they were all there to see me. I mean, I forgot I was even in a recital at all. Yeah, okay. The other girls danced to the song, and I stood there in the middle, stationary, waving the entire time. Okay, so what? You think because you're shitty at ballet you'll be a good actress? The love of the audience is in my blood. I was a born performer, okay? I was made to be in front of a large wow. audience. Wow. All right, Ben. Okay. All right, you guys wouldn't understand. So how are things with you and Jared? Oh, Jared. I am breaking up with him. What? Why? Uh, why not? He's a loser. He has no job, no money. He doesn't know how to dress, and he looks like a whale. Yeah, well, try having sex with a whale. Except no. for, it's no whale dick, I guarantee you. His balls smell like mildew. <laughs> oh my god! The other day we were having sex, and he had his whole big, fat, gross body on me. His hands were all down by his side. It was like he was planking me. Planking you? Yes. And I'm like, where are your hands right now? Well, what are you doing? Playing with your balls? <laughs> How many? Six. Uh, eight. Uh, three. Hey, didn't I go to school with you? No. Oh, hey, 
look who it is. I didn't recognize you without all the blood all over your face. <laughs> oh, that's right. You were nosebleed. I remember her. Well, if it isn't little Miss Holy Roller herself. Oh, hey, the crew's all here. If it isn't Miss Ham Sam, you've lost a lot of weight. They used to use her belt in geometry class to tell the difference between diameter and radius. It was the only thing big enough for the whole class to see. <laughs> hey, how come we don't see you around campus? Oh. <laughs> No, no, they don't go to school anymore, guys. They have meaningful jobs. Oh, I can tell. Mm. No, yeah, but it's okay. The world needs ditch diggers, too. Somebody's, Somebody's so gonna true. serve us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Why don't you look around with everybody? I'm not feeling so hot today. You okay? Yeah. Yo, son. <laughs> Check out my Jesus piece. It's hot, right? Hey, yo. Look, it's roomy. What's that freak doing down here? You wanna follow him? Hell yeah! You going? I guess Fire of love. What's this all about? Mmm. That's a hood oil that originates in New Orleans. It is for sex and lust. Did you hear that, baby? Yeah, I heard it. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. So what are you? You take it like a, a shot or something? Oh, no, no. These are perfumes. Doom oil. Death. Onto my enemies. It's a very powerful mixture. This, this little thing's supposed to be powerful, huh? Who does on? Is that to be taken lightly? You may not see him. I promise he's there. Thick, sharpened teeth and thin, mangy hair. He sees the whole truth, so don't try to lie. There's no escape when it's your time to die. You can hope for protection, prepare for the fight, but nothing can save you from me, Mr. White. That's the story of Mr. White. That book is the only one in the world like it. Do you want to hear the story? Yeah, let's hear the story of Mr. White. Long time ago, Benjamin White was a doctor in New Orleans. He was feared, and for good reason.
got a six sense of pleasure out of torture. Who said that? I just wanted to let you know that we had a breakfast supper. That's nice. And I was just wondering if I could go up to the house. No. But you won't let me finish. I was just because I said no. But Lucinda, we... listen to grown folks when they're talking to you. No. We had a breakfast supper, so I was wondering if I could go up, up to the house. And that's... I don't want to ever see you up in that house. Do you hear what I'm saying? Daddy, never. It's just bread. Do you hear what I'm saying? Don't you ever go up to that house? Well, Benjamin, you are a hard man to get a hold of. But I can see why. New machines, new labor. We both know you didn't come all the way down here for small talk. Yes, sir. Bruton. <laughs> well, yes. Let's get to brass tacks. <sighs> Bringing medical equipment into a lumber yard will raise curiosity. Enough that some folk might start coming around looking where they don't belong. My price has gone up to $300 a month. Well... Ain't that a fine how do you do? That's quite a hefty increase, isn't it, Mr. Bruton? There's been an increase in risk. There's just something about a scalp, Mr. Bruton. Cold handle, razor sharp blade. There's a certain spark of power when it's held in a man's hand. A skilled man. A man who could say, take enough out you, leave you suffering and pain something fierce, but smart enough to know how to keep you alive long enough so you feel your last breath's coming to you. <laughs> well, I think I can keep the fine folks of the parish away to let you continue about your work. I, I, we'll just settle on the 250 from the last agreement. You a smart man, Mr. Bruton. I'll uh, just tell him a spook story and keep him away. <laughs> you do that, Mr. Bruton. You do that. I'll be seeing you. But one day, he cut Clayton's daughter stealing food from the house. She a beaut. But that little girl was the last girl. <laughs> that night, they rebelled against Mr. White. ground. 
out to dust. A heart full of fury, revenge it is just. I scatter these bones, these bones ground by rage. Spirits, take thine enemy and bring him pain. Eternal protection, the small and the meek, forever cursed, seek revenge for the weak. Torment, fire, out of control. With this hex, Mr. White, I curse your wicked soul. <coughs> you killed my baby girl. What you gonna do, boy? Always smiling, day or night. Tied to this fence post now. Just like the cat that ate the canary. How about I make you smile forever? <laughs> Your ass. No you more. better run. No, you not better no more, run. Mr. White. Mm. Mm. Not no more. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you good. May you run hell, Mr. White. Legend has it they beat old Mr. White to death buried him in a shallow dirt grave laced with goofer dust. Some people even still say that man's dub is still roams the earth, doomed to seek revenge for the less fortunate. Some even claim to see him through the years. It's all there in the book. They say that they took the flesh of the dying body of that man, ripped it apart, they sew it together to cover that book. Oh, hell no. Bullshit, man. Oh, where's your bathroom? Sounds like a, a lot of horseshit to me. <laughs> Believe it if you want to. Mm. Shit. Shut the hell, man. Come here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Maybe. I just gotta change my shoes. This stupid dick in a pickup truck chucked his drink at me. That wasn't very nice of him, was it? Love me incense powder. Um, it's for a paper I'm writing for my religion course. Mm hmm. Follow me, girl oil. Man, college sure has changed since I was a kid. Where'd you get all this stuff? Mambo. Uh, name Charisse. She works downtown. The only mambo I know is a, a dance. No, she's a voodoo priestess. It's actually a really fascinating religion. I wasn't even aware it was a religion. <laughs> When, when it's all done, said walk and roll across the floor. Forget who we were. Did you come to see me? Huh? Hello? Hello? I always believed you. Sid, Todd, what the 
what you're talking about. I know. You know what I'm talking about. You see, you see him too. Oh yes. He's a very bad man. <laughs> All right, uh, we got a long drive home. That was not nothing, Tyler. This shit's starting to freak me out. I mean, today I walk into your room and you're fucking messing with witchcraft or something. Hoodoo! It's called hoodoo. Hoodoo, voodoo, I don't give a shit what it's called. Okay? Maybe you just take the meds for a little bit, okay? Just try it. You know, out of all people, I would have thought that you were on my side. I am on your side, man. They over-medicated her, and then they will over-medicate me. They will up the dose, and then they will up the frequency, and next thing you know, I'll be having tremors so fucking bad I won't be able to hold a glass of water. Can't, you've never even asked me. What? Ask you what? If I think he's Delusions are always real to the person experiencing them. Pull over. Le wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Don't open the, the, the freaking door. I'm dry. Oh, hey, no. Tyler, come on, get back in here. Hey, hey, Tyler. Get, come on, get in. Get in the car. I don't want you walking out here all alone. It's okay. I haven't been alone in a long time. <laughs> pretty great out there today. I've never seen a girl who wasn't afraid of like ruining her makeup or not getting an even tan. <laughs> well, I did grow up by the beach actually. My dad is like a really big surfer so he had me out there as soon as I could walk practically. You know, I did almost die out there one time. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Summer. Scott says, hey, this is my new girlfriend, and then bam, she's just part of our group. Yeah, I know. She's only been dating for like a month, right? I mean, what if she's here to stay? I caught this really nice wave, and I rode it for like a couple of seconds, and then it just like swallowed me up. And um, I started panicking because I couldn't find the surface, and the undertow was pulling me down. Next thing I know, I'm waking up on the beach, vomiting up ocean water. And then for Kendra to invite her over, I mean, what in the hell are we supposed to talk about? Um, you could always talk about Scott. I mean, you've both been there and done that. <laughs> I thought I was invincible. Invincible. The stupidest thing kids think. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think I'd ever want to have one or be around them. Leave me alone. Keep it back in the car. <laughs> well, this is funny. Yeah. I, f I finally get it. 
He is what, Calamine, huh? You are jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> why, why am I jealous? Because I fucked her first. Ooh. Okay. What did, what did he say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> thing and me. Please. Let's just go, okay? He's had enough. No! Oh my God. Stops right now. Pick somebody. You, okay? Been you, okay? All right. Just calm down, okay? Just calm down. I want you to prove it. What? Prove it. I want you to go over there and spit on that motherfucker right now.
con chó ấy, bạn ơi Bạn con chó ấy Bạn con chó ấy, bạn con chó ấy Let me translate that It's 11 o'clock and you don't have my fucking beer here If you're not here in 15 minutes, you're dead Alright, hurry up Alan, you fucking with me? You know, I've never passed up a cocktail. Give me that. Kendra, they're gonna bury you with that stupid phone. Yeah, give me this. I actually was in the middle of a word game. Uh, yeah, with douchebag1963. I mean, come on, I guess playing some word game with a 50-year-old is more fun than hanging out with all of us. Yeah, actually, this thing is pretty awesome. I have a lot of apps on this, okay? I have uh, this bowling app, mm. and I have a banking app. Ooh. I have a calendar. Uh, oh, you know what? I actually have this one that changes your voice into a rap song, which is really cool. And today, today, I got this new one. It's a flashlight. Wow, a flashlight app. Why didn't you say so? Why in the hell would you need a flashlight app? Because it's free. Be careful. Get murder weapon right here. Thanks, Summer. Just put it with the rest of the evidence. All right, no problem. Hey. So the neighbors heard a bunch of screaming. Said the kids are pretty rowdy when the folks are out of town. Mrs. Carroll, however, said there was a different type of screaming going on tonight. Oh, she see anybody suspicious in the area? We'll find out soon. I got Davis taking the report right now. All right, show me the bodies. Just for 25 cents, I can get you front row tickets to the man with two torsos. All right, jokes are over there. Hey, man, I thought it was funny. Jesus Christ! No blade marks, no blunt force trauma. It's like he was ripped apart. Forensics been in here already? Yeah, they're finishing up the zone search now.
BMW. Is this asshole brazen enough to leave his initials at a crime scene? I don't know. I got Shirley running it through all the databases. I'll let you know if she comes up with anything. That's so random. Well, I'm like practically throwing myself at him and it's like he doesn't even notice. Oh, you having a little craving for some dark chocolate? Shut up, Megan. Okay, he's funny and he's got that sexy voice. Doesn't he have a girlfriend? Well, supposedly, but has anybody even seen Alex? I've never seen her. I haven't seen her. Maybe it's just that he's so shy and he doesn't know how to tell you that he likes you. So he's just saying he's going out with some Alex. What you need to do is just go up and kiss him. I could just walk right up to him and kiss him. That's a terrible idea. Of course the Virgin Mary over here would think that's a terrible idea because it involves kissing. And I guess kissing's a sin in your book. Kissing is not a sin, but still, if he does have a girlfriend, he shouldn't interfere. Speaking of sin, Summer, I gotta know. What Tyler said tonight, is it true? Wait, what? You saw Tyler? When? Tonight. Coming home, Scott totally beat his ass. And you know what Tyler said? He said that he and Summer did the deed. <laughs> Can you guys just shut up about it, please? Oh my god. You did, didn't you? You did the double-backed beast with the weird Rooney kid? <laughs> yes. All right? Are you happy? That is so disgusting. It was before Scott and I got together. Okay, wait a minute. So you're telling me that this kid isn't gay? I thought he was gay, too. You guys are such bitches. Okay, wait, how long before was this? What is this, 20 questions? It's like a week, maybe two, I don't know. Ew, summer, that was really recently. <gasps> Fuck you, it was months ago. Okay, don't all get up and get it. I'm busy. It's your house. <laughs> oh no, wait, wait, wait. You don't have an app for that? Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> Who is it? There's uh, no one out there. to the party bearing booze. As promised, vodka and a martini shaker. Not sure how to make these, but if I can't figure it out, there's always the end. What's going on? Kendra, why did you lock her out? There's something out there, you guys. There's something out there. So you locked her out there? Kendra, let her in. Let her in? No, 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 no. What's happening? No, no, no. Somebody needs to tell me what the fuck is going on right now. Okay, I'm not 
looking for these? Here. You can have them. Ooh. No. Uh. No. No, no, no. You can't be begging right now. Tyler, please. I, I wasn't... I wasn't there today. It doesn't matter if you were there tonight. It's not about tonight. It's about three fucking years, Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> no. You are hilarious. The tables have turned. I find this hilarious. <laughs> She's inside and hurt and needs our help. Well, I'm not going back in there. Guys, please. Shut up. Um, guys? Oh, thank God. Um, All right, let's go. What about Kendra? We can't just leave her here. We'll call her. Let's go. Um, awful eager to leave Kendra behind to die, aren't we? No, I'm just awful eager to save my own ass and live. You know what? It's easy for you because you barely know her. But we've grown up together since we were kids, and I am not going to leave her here to die. All right, Megan. I'm just trying to think rationally here. It's nothing against Kendra, but right now, we're sitting in this car like a bunch of bait. I feel like if we stay here, we could all die. What if I stay? What? John 15, 13 says, there's no greater love than this but to lay one life down for a friend. Her car doesn't run. So yeah. if she does come out, then what? Then we'll just wait there. The cops are going to come. Remember, she said so. It's the Christian thing to do. Christian, my ass. Someone needs to talk some sense into this nun over here. Guys, Lori's right, okay? We shouldn't just leave Kendra here to die. If Lori wants to stay, let her stay. Fine. I have to do this. Go. You know, I, I choose a place every time, and it's always 
I don't like what they have. Or I don't. Decisions all day. Can you make one? All right. Uh, the place over there next to what is it? Bob's. No, gross. See exactly. I choose something. You don't like it. Oh my God. Let's just go to the Italian place. I will go off my diet once. Oh yay, Italian again. Yes. Okay, well, give me a second. I forgot to put on deodorant. You're rushing me. Are Are you kidding me? It's the same shit with you every time. I should just leave your ass at home. Yeah. Leave here. Yeah, I'm going to. And then I don't have to listen to you complain. Dinner be a whole lot quieter, and I might actually enjoy it since I, I don't get an enjoyable dinner at home. You can't make a pot roast, but you can put on a straight line in a moving car. Okay, enough about the pot roast. Let's just go to dinner. Okay. You gotta help me. M my sister, she's hurt. She's Where? really hurt. She's bleeding over there. You okay? Yeah. Yes. You gotta help her. She went off the road. She's, she's not moving. Sheila, call 911. No, no, they're already on their way already. Please help me. Can we go, please? Starbucks. Right. We've been through a lot tonight. <laughs> yeah, a lot of shrooms. Hey, I can't get hold of Kevin or Alan. You should keep trying. I'm gonna call Kendra. It's horrible. Why don't you tell me exactly what happened? And um, and Amy came to the door. Um, but um, before she could before she could come in, something something took her. Kendra shut the door, and I went out to look, but she was already dead. It it looked like something was eating her. Yeah, I, I saw it too. It was like. She was, something was using her like as a puppet, only nothing was holding her up. What did you see? Like, what was it? 
You don't know? What the fuck did you see? Guys, no, this this is horseshit. Dude, she's just fucking with you. This is just like the pregnancy thing she did with the fake abortion. No, you know what I'm talking about, Ray. Right? This okay. is this is horseshit. She was half there. Half where? You guys are half there in your heads right now. Okay, okay. No, okay. this is horseshit. Okay, look. So we're just supposed to believe that you saw something that isn't even humanly possible. Excuse my cynicism, ladies, but this sounds like a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, that's definitely it's it's bullshit. That's oh, that's all. Sound like bullshit. Do you hear that? Hear what? There's nothing there. I can't. Ray, leave her alone. No, fuck that. She didn't even warn Jared before that, that whatever it was attacked him. I want to know why she can see it and I can't. I don't know, okay? I swear. God's sake, Ray, just cut it out. How the hell am I supposed to protect myself from something I, I can't even see? How are any of us? I'm not about to put my life in this bitch's hands. Hell, I barely even know her. So Jen and I can't see it either. So just drop it. Ray? You know, if there's anything we need to say to each other, I think now's the time. I mean, that thing could come back at any time. What are you talking about? You know, I just... I know I have things on my mind that I don't want to take to the grave. What I mean is... Right? together after practice. Please, you might be God's gift to the ladies, but I'll break your scrawny ass in half. So, um, now that you know, maybe you can stop hanging all over me? I'm 
I'm pregnant. What? Oh, that's great. You gonna tell me now in front of everybody? I tried to tell you a few times before. I just found out. Wait, I mean, are you sure? I missed a period, so I took a test. Came back positive. How, you know, how the hell could that even happen? And we were safe every every single time. It's not even mine. That, that freak is trying to kill us, and you have his kid inside of you. I'm sorry. All right. I made a mistake. It was two weeks before you and I even got together. Maybe three. Don't fucking touch me. Checking for prints, call logs, text messages, everything. You got it, Ronnie. It's late. Some of us want to sleep. How do we stop it? Forget about it. You told us a story, and this thing is after us. The other day when we were in here, you told us that some people believe that this man. Mr. White, that he seeks revenge for the less fortunate. He's after us. I know. What do you mean you know? That boy out there has been coming here for a long time. Story, that damn book like he's gonna be test on it. I know how you mistreat him and bully him. I know how you break that poor boy's little heart. Now every one of you is Mark. Mark? What do you mean Mark? I feel bad for the boy, so I give him some guidance. I knew that it was no coincidence that you guys come here the other day after him. You helped that son of a bitch. Our friends are dead because of you. Your friends are dead because of you. I knew. I knew been picking on me for years now. That puppy has been waiting for a long time for revenge. He wants blood. Your blood. You bring this demon to yourself. Please. Mr. White, how do we stop him? Did you hear me? You're Mark. Wherever you go, whatever you do, he's gonna get you. And he's gonna give you what you got coming. If we're marked, then there should be a way to get unmarked. Child. Isn't there a, some kind of ritual or chant that you people do? There's nothing I can do for you. As long as the boy heart beat, he's gonna go after you. So, if he dies, this thing will stop. What? You said as long as his heart's beating. So what if it stops? I think I got my answer. It's kind of... Hey! If it's kill, or be killed. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. If you wanna help that asshole again, then you go ahead! How far along? He's going to be blessed. 
just like his daddy. Oh, 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 by the way, make sure you lock. Where are we going? My dad has a place out in the forest. He uses it for hunting trips, and I think we'll be safe there. How do you know? I mean, we weren't even safe at my place, and hardly anyone knows where I stay. Because my dad's place is a lodge. So what? So it has guns and traps, and that means protection. Of course it is. Tell me about some crazy dream you had about everyone dying around us and me telling you I was gay. It's still true. I'm still gay. That thing is still after us. So we need to go. Come on. Come on. Wait, wait. Let's just let's just talk about this, okay? What do you want to talk about? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kill him. Wait a second, okay? I don't want to wait a second. You're gonna let us all die for no, us. No, no. But yeah, I you don't want, want you to die, die. But I don't want you to That's walk you in want. there. No. That's what you want. No, it's not. But I don't what, want do you, you guys him? to walk. No. You love him? Stop. You want? Can't you see she was dying on her body? Leave her alone. Come on, Summer. Do you think any of us woke up this morning and thought about killing someone? What if this is the only way to stop him? No. I'm sorry. We have to. We have to do this, Summer. Come on. Let's go. No. Let's no. go, Summer. No. No. Fuck it. I'm not gonna die. It's not my dad's jeep. The fuck?
do it again. be here. Come on, just give it a chance, sweetie, okay? Come on. You'll have fun, okay? Just try for me, please. Thank you. Mwah. Summer. Uh, guys, this is Summer. Uh, Summer, this is Greg and Sherry Stevens, Tim, Cameron, and uh, what's her face? Very funny. I'm Angie, <laughs> Matt's wife. Hi. Daddy, when can I blow out my candles? In a minute, sweetie. Why don't you go watch Houdini over there for a little bit? That's not Houdini. That can't be Houdini. Houdini's dead. Well, he most certainly is not Houdini. Maybe I should get my money back. <laughs> so, Summer, which heathen is yours? Uh, mine's Bobby. Um, he's the one... Daddy, is that boy all right? He just keeps talking to himself. I'm sure he's fine, sweetheart. He's probably just going through an imaginary friend thing. Like you did whenever you thought that cartoon bunny thing was real? Summer, what's wrong?
Bye-bye.